Hello, my name is Shara Cox, and I'm a District Technology Facilitator with the East Baton Rouge Parish School System. This video is on Canva, and the topic for today is Canva Share Settings. And what I mean by that is, okay, so you're going to learn how to make all of these wonderful Canva creations, but you have to learn how to allow your students or your audience or whoever you're presenting to actually be able to view it. So we're going to discuss how do you do that. So I'm just going to go to create a design and we'll just pull up a blank design. We'll do a presentation. Alrighty. And when you get here, I know you see the button off to the right that says share. So that's exactly what we're talking about our share settings. So we're going to hit the share button. And these are all the options that come up whenever you hit the share button. And it tells you here that to share this design, you can add people, groups, or teams. So here, whenever you want to share, you will just put in an email. I'm going to use one of my Google accounts to send, just sit here. So when you put the email address in, at this point, you have the option to allow the person that you're sharing it with to edit it. They can only comment, or you have the option to where they can view it. So my suggestion to you is when I'm usually sharing a um, Canva presentation or, or anything, I probably would just do view only because keep in mind, you have taken your time to create this design. So you don't want people to get on it and change stuff. So I would suggest you do view and then you just press send. And this is how it looks. It's going to send them email to view your design. So let's go back into the share settings. So now it's telling me who I've shared it with and it's telling me what option I've given them. So imagine if you shared it with someone and then you decide, hmm, um, this person is gonna collaborate with me and I'm gonna let them help me. You can go to the little pencil and you can edit how what type of access they have. You can change it to where they can edit, they can comment, or you can actually remove the person altogether, okay? All right, and also, let's go back. So that is how you add a person or send it to a person. There also is the link sharing restricted. So now, if you wanted to share the link to your presentation, you would drop down. And it's right now, it's saying only added people can access, which means that if someone wanted to access your presentation, you have to add each person individually. That's not conducive if you're in a setting and your audience 30 people. You wanna be able to share the link with them so they can click and access at their leisure. So you also, this is another option. This is for, we'll, that's way, that's not like a Canva basic. It's like something a little bit more um, complex, it's like a um, groups and classes. But see, your other option here is that you can pick anyone with the link. I like that choice, and it tells you right away that your link changes have been updated. This means that anyone with the link, but see, you also have to look here. Anyone with the link can what edit, they can comment, or can they view? So, remember what I just said I would do anyone with the link can view. Therefore, you don't want a stranger getting on and changing your presentation. So if they only can view, it's nothing that they can do. And you just go copy link. And when you go to share that link, you just share that link because it's already copied for you. All righty. So this is pretty much your share settings on Canva. Come back for more.